in support of the National Content Initiative that seeks to cut back on profit repatriation. The design consultants for the 12.6 trillion shilling East African crude oil pipeline are set to present the project requirements to local and international suppliers. For the 1,400 kilometer heated pipeline, Uganda is the shortest segment of it. So the issue would be to any Ugandan supplier would be what is the extent, what is the scope of works, what is the timing, and how is it phased? What are the requirements for in terms of skilled labor force, in terms of either artisanal labor force, in terms of white collar labor force, in terms of consultancy? This particular meeting due next week has been announced in local publications by the Gulf Interstate Engineering, the U.S.-based firm contracted to undertake the front-end engineering design for the multi-billion dollar pipeline project. We expect about 100,000 direct, indirect and induced jobs in this preparatory phase and we are here to urge the Ugandans to take advantage of this opportunity to ensure that the country maximizes its benefits from this oil and gas sector. Under law, the joint venture partners of Total, Tal and Sinok are blocked from contracting potential suppliers who are not authenticated and listed on the National Suppliers Database hoisted by the Petroleum Authority of Uganda. Things to make sure that I mean, we continue building capacity with the local contractor. But, however, continue a contract in 2018 or 2019 with a company that is not registered, it means what? It means simply, uh, it means I'm on my own because I mean, I'm sure the contract uh, song will not be approved. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.